Alright guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel, this is Josh, back at it again with another video. Uh, basically I do hair videos, so I'm going to have hair videos, uh, I have workout content, and then follow me on TikTok, and I got body gang content, because I know you guys like body gang content, so I'm back at it with another video. We are here at the body gang capital, we're in Brickell, Miami, um, so I, I just really I want to talk to my guys, I want to talk to you guys about this because this is also a big thing in the community. And uh, basically, we're going to talk about they have to tear you down to win. In order to win, they got to tear you down, you know what I mean? It's almost, it's Lion King, you know what I mean? It's, it's primal out here, especially in Miami. It's definitely primal in Miami. But yeah, I just really want to talk about this topic because um, this is an important information to know. I don't know if it's a plane. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I don't know if the sound. I gotta see if the sound. I'm check one. But basically, oh my god. Press the play. I gotta wait, right? I have to wait. I have to wait. Okay, so basically, I have to tear you down and where to win. All right, so this is a tip with the dealing with body game. Your body game is perfect. You know what I mean? I'm in Miami and I've seen people with perfect body, ten out of ten bodies. Uh, men and women, it's just what it is out here. That's just like the norm. Everybody has good clothes. Everybody has money. Everybody has the perfect life, perfect lifestyle, more so. But the main topic is they have to tell you, they have to tell you that in order to win. And this, I'm going to tell you like what you look for. This is how it happens. And it's a nonstop process. Basically, what that means is that they want your lifestyle. They want your attention. They want what you can attract. So basically, you are the magnet in the situation, you are the magnet wherever you go, and people do not like that. Because if you're the magnet, you're basically taking everybody else's attention away from them into you. It's not something that you can literally control, but it's something that just happens to you naturally based off of like your God's gifts and like basically things that you're good at. And this looks to be like, I guess an example to be, it would be like, when you're talking about something that you're passionate about or if you're talking about something that you're really, really caring about, somebody will either change the subject or to divert attention to something that they're doing. This is a common thing because it's like sometimes people can see you light up with joy and sometimes that will anger them because they feel as though they want to do that thing. They feel like they want to have that, that energy to do so or they want to have that persistence to do so, but it takes a lot. It's not easy. So a lot of times when you're talking about a subject, they'll immediately change the topic or the subject, or they, if you talk about something, they'll immediately point the attention back to themselves, and that's a telltale sign that that's happening to you, and you need to make sure you watch that. I'm not saying you have to cut everybody off who does that, but you have to watch that energy, you have to know where it's coming from, and a lot of times it's not coming from a good place, so keep that in mind, because at the end of the day, this is you, and this is your, your life, and protect what is close to your heart, so be careful when you're talking about things that are close to your heart. Um, but next thing is that every time that something good happens to you, they will tear you down. They will tell you you think you're better or you think that you, you think you have enough to do that. You think you're good now or where you're at now, they'll tell you you're not good enough. Or they'll tell you you don't have the skills or you don't have the time. You don't have the life. You know what I mean? And this can happen when you're younger, like in your 20s or even when you're like 17, 18, or youngest like 16, 15, you know, a lot of times people will just, they can see your potential and they'll tell you that's too hard for you. Or I don't think that's a good, a good choice for you. I don't think you should go down that path. I think you should do something more realistic. I think you should do this. I think you should do that. I don't know if you can do that. Whole time, they know that you can do it. Whole time, they know that if you were to put your mind to it, if you were able to focus on it, you could actually do it. But at the same time, if you do it, if you do, put that intense focus on, you will pass everyone around you. You will then surpass the norm. You will then surpass everyone else and it'll make it make people uncomfortable because it's like, okay, this person came from the same situation I came from. How did they make it? You know what I'm saying? Why can't I make it? Why am I still in the same situation? And it's just like a lot of times people feel uncomfortable or they feel inferior to you, but they can't tell you. So what they do is they project their feelings onto you. They project how they feel or they project what they can do onto you. If I can't do it, what makes you think you can do it? And they genuinely feel that way. It's not true, but they genuinely feel like if they can't do it, why should you be able to do it? Or what makes you so much better than me? And it's like sometimes like I think people forget, forget that 
this is a thing that happens all the time, and it deters you from your plan. It deters you from your your destiny. So you have to watch that because if you don't, if you are convinced that you're not able to do it, you won't try. You won't wake up. You won't be confident. And this is like you cannot waste your confidence on somebody else's opinion because it's not true. So definitely keep a mind out, an eye on that. There's a lot of evil eyes out there, and it's just like I, I definitely don't want my guys to be discouraged because you can do it. You know what I mean? Like, this is your life. And you have to realize the time is going to pass anyway. Even if it's difficult, you doing it or not doing it is the main factor because the time, you're going to be older anyway. Time is going to pass. Things are going to happen. So why not be happy in the process? You know what I mean? You're in your divine timing now. Don't think that you're not in your dream or don't think you're not in the place you want to be. You're at that place now. You just have to align with reality. You know what I'm saying? Take the steps and be confident and do it. This is what you want. Uh, the next thing, what makes you so special? What makes you so special to question yourself? A lot of times, a lot of people aren't going to tell you blatantly, like, hey, what makes you so special? What makes you think you can do this? But this is the biggest question because then you're going to internalize what they say, and this becomes your inner voice. This becomes your thought process. Basically, what this means or the tactic when people do this is to question your abilities because you can't physically see your future. You physically cannot see where you're going to be in the next 30 years, where you're going to be in the next 20 years, where you're going to be in the next 10 years, where you're going to be in the next five years. So because that information is unknown, you then be able to question, can I actually do this? And when you question yourself and you don't fight that thought, if you don't fight with, okay, I, I, you know, I am smart enough to do this, or I can do this, or if I just try, if you don't fight, you will waste time. And wasting time, time is the most, you have to understand, before money, before fame, before lifestyle, is time. Because if you don't use your time wisely, it's going to be passed on to somebody younger and better than you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, if somebody is younger, but they're more confident, they may be able to achieve more than you because they have more confidence. And with the more confidence that you have, the more opportunities you have and the more opportunities you take. And it's like, you may fail, you may not succeed, but guess what? You still have 10 more years to do the exact same thing somebody else is trying to do. Whether if it's trading, bodybuilding, influencing. If someone's 18 and they, they take the time out of their day to do the content, to do the videos, they're gonna blow up. Time doesn't care, time doesn't care how old you are. And that means it's like, for you succeeding or for you dying. Time is not gonna be like, okay, this person's 18, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a relax. Time does not care. And basically, that's the, time, that's the thing. It's like when you question yourself if you can do it, guess what? You won't You won't plan. You won't be confident of doing the literally thing you want to do. You'll just be scared. If, you be scared. if you're scared, then somebody else is going to get that opportunity. And it's like it should be you. You know what I mean? You have to think, this is my time. This, this everything that's good that's happening to me, I deserve it because I took the time out and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. No one's going to beat me because... This is my time, this is my life, this is what I want. This is what you want, you have to remember, this is what you want, no one else wants this. No one else can see what you see, nobody can see your dreams. It's you, you have to make it happen, but you have to take the time to do it. You have to be confident every day to know that you can do it. So yeah, man, that's um, that's just like main things. It, it just sometimes it angers me because it's like people have so much potential People have so many opportunities, but they're young, and they let what people say determine their future. Because if you listen to what people say, you will never listen to your inner voice, and guess what? You will never do what you want to do. You will never plan out what you need to do in order to get to the next level. You will always be comfortable in it. If, whenever you're comfortable, you don't grow. That goes for everything. If you're comfortable, you will not grow. If you don't plan, you won't grow, but if you're comfortable, comfortable is kills so many dreams, and I want you guys to understand that, and you cannot listen to another person's opinion. You can't listen to what they say because they don't want you to succeed, so when you become comfortable, guess what? You're at an even playing field. But as soon as you take steps that are uncomfortable, the more you grow and the more you realize, I can actually do this, it's not even that hard. But um, yeah, man, that's the video pretty much uh, pretty much how people tear you down, you know what I mean? Like, time is just of the essence. And just remember, you can do it, you know what I mean? Time waits on nobody, time doesn't wait for me, you know what I mean? So it's like, I have to take the opportunities that I have, 
and I have to keep pushing, and I can't let somebody tell me tell me what they think to lead my life because it's my life and it's your life. So that's the interview. If you like the video, hit your sky, like the video, turn post notifications, everything. Ask me any questions down in the comment box below. Subscribe. I will have more videos coming out, and I'm out. Okay, first video.